In recent news, power couple Jay-Z and Beyonce have just bought the most expensive home ever sold in the state of California, paying $200 million for their new property in Malibu. The 40,000 square foot mansion is considered an architectural masterpiece designed by famous Japanese architect Tadeo Ando. The minimalistic concrete abode took over a decade to build and sits on eight acres overlooking the ocean in the exclusive Paradise Cove area. Also known as Billionaire's Row. This may seem insane to most of us average folks, but it seems Beyonce and Jay-Z only go big or go home when it comes to their real estate portfolio. The only other LA area home they've purchased was their main residence back in 2017, which cost them $88 million, and they further invested millions of dollars more into upgrades and renovations, pushed that home's value to over $100 million. Jay-Z and Beyonce have just purchased one of the greatest architectural masterpiece properties in the country, but it came far from cheap, costing the couple a whopping $200 million. With this recent purchase, they've shattered California's records as it marks the most expensive home ever sold in the entire state, and also the second most expensive real estate buy in the country, only being surpassed by $238 million for an NYC apartment. Jay-Z and Beyonce's new concrete compound is located in what's possibly the most prime area of Malibu. Over Overlooking the ocean in Paradise Cove, aka Billionaire's Row. In fact, one of their neighbors, billionaire venture capitalist Mark Anderson, was the former record holder for most pricey home in California, who had bought the mansion right next door in 2021 for $177 million. Beyonce and Jay-Z's minimalistic mansion is a work of art, dreamt up by art collector William Bell, who purchased the property in 2003 for $14.5 million and called in famous Japanese architect Tadeo Ando to design the place. Ando is a Pritzker Prize winner who's known for creating impressive concrete structures across Asia, Europe, and North America. You also may have heard his name because Ando is also responsible for designing the home Kanye West bought in Malibu. Jay-Z and Beyonce's modern marvel of a home took nearly 15 years to create and it's made of nearly all concrete and glass. Ando's style is clearly noticeable here as the L-shaped mansion opens up to sprawling open spaces and is marked by concrete hallways and floor-to-ceiling walls of glass. Not only is the home in the most exclusive area of Malibu, it also sits on a stunning eight-acre bluff overlooking the Pacific Ocean. The couple's mega mansion covers nearly 40,000 square feet of space and reportedly also used 7,645 cubic yards of concrete to build, according to the contractor involved, Morley Construction Co. According to the construction company, the home also features Bell's private art collection and other design features including a water feature and a jaw-dropping swimming pool. Photos are still slim at this point since the mansion was never on the open market and Jay-Z and Beyonce were one of the select group of buyers the pad was shown to. Considering the property was originally offered at $295 million as a pocket listing, the couple scored a deal. I mean, if you want to call it that. Out back on the grounds, the home's patios lead to the swimming pool as well as the cabana and grassy lawn that overlooks the beach below. Rumors of this unique property have been going around for years online, with Reddit users comparing its monolithic type design to that of a supervillain's lair. Well, now it's Beyonce and Jay-Z's lair. It also looks like the couple has a type when it comes to real estate, considering their other massive home purchase, which they paid $88 million for back in 2017, is a similar looking mansion located in Bel Air. They further invested millions more into this property, which is made up of six structures, pushing its value to over a hundred million. So let's take a look at that place next. It took Jay-Z and Beyonce years to find their main residence. In 2014, the couple lost out on a $70 million Beverly Hills mansion, being outbid by the creator of Minecraft, Marcus Person, and later they lost out on another nearby mansion. But finally, in summer of 2017, the power couple would score their current residence, a contemporary style spec built Bel Air mansion. While the asking price was at a whopping $120 million, the couple was able to snag it for $88 million, which at this point is looking like a discount. 
and especially when you compare it to the Malibu home they just bought. The 1.88 acre trophy property actually included a 9,000 square foot colonial revival mansion when it was last purchased in 2013. But this was immediately torn down and replaced with the uber modern estate that sits in its place. Jay-Z and Beyonce's house is more like a compound, encompassing six buildings, multiple pools, separate staff quarters, and plenty more outdoor features. Altogether, the structures make up a combined 30,000 square feet of living space or so, and the estate is a smart home equipped with all of the latest tech features. All it takes is a push of a button to open the glass walls. Safety isn't an issue here either with features like bulletproof windows and the entire place is situated behind massive iron gates. While the mansion was stacked with everything you could need and more, reportedly the couple spent millions more over the years on changes like adding a backup generator and another living area under the many pools. Located near Bel Air's East Gate, Beyonce and Jay-Z's home is in a posh neighborhood and there are eight bedrooms and 11 bathrooms throughout. Aerial views show how large and impressive it is, and we can see the backyard is divided into different levels. A level right off of the home has an infinity pool and plenty of green space, while the one below you can access by travertine tiled stairs. Up on the roof, you'll find one of the pools, which probably has the best view of all, and it said the huge white space at the top is a helipad. It's said that the architect of the home, Paul McLean, loves long, skinny pools like these ones. And we can see that especially in the pool in the second level. The boutique hotel-sized home offers panoramic city views and inside, the multiple floors are linked together with an amazing circular staircase lined with buttery soft leather. In fact, the sculptural staircase was allegedly carved using a single piece of wood before being lined with dark brown leather, while the steps are made of limestone. Automatic glass walls through the home open up to reveal over 10,000 square feet of outdoor living space and terraces too for the ultimate indoor-outdoor vibe. You wouldn't expect Bay and Jay to have anything but the best in their kitchen. While the home was under construction, the builder installed top-of-the-line appliances. We can see there are two large islands that were custom made in Italy. The nearby living room has a wall-sized marble fireplace and of course that floor-to-ceiling glass with killer views. In terms of the dining room, British Vogue's editor-in-chief Edward Enifel had the privilege of joining Beyonce for dinner once at the home. Writing in the July 2022 issue of his rare encounter around the superstar's dining table, he wrote, I'm a little stunned at how relaxed it all is, going on to share that her home was impressively minimalist with acres of white walls, gleaming glass, and beautiful art. A luxe bathroom on an upper level of the mansion has views right into the trees, as well as a massive soaking tub perfect for the couple to unwind in a separate shower. The bathrooms are definitely high-end, many with Calcutta marble floors and limestone sinks. This bathroom has a tankless toilet that's environmentally friendly, while all of the walls mounted toilets in their home can be opened, closed, and flushed without touching them. Looking at Jay-Z and Beyonce's media room or home theater, it has all of the best AV equipment with plush furnishings to unwind while enjoying the show. There's recessed lighting, a massive screen, and a door that's rumored to be covered in lizard skin, but that sounds kind of mean and I'm not into that. While we can see photos of a sprawling room referred to as the master suite, we can assume the couple has switched up the space since moving in. There's a wall-mounted electric fireplace and of course, some more retractable glass walls leading to the private terrace. Additional features in the mansion include a library office, space for recording studio, and a spa fitness suite with gym, hot tub, sauna, and his and her steam rooms. The amenities continue out on the grounds with a basketball court, a garage space for up to 15 cars, separate staff quarters, and those four pools. Beyonce is given glimpses of their epic palace on Instagram, including the backyard. We can see the clean aesthetic with black marble walls and neutral colored stone floors. While the mansion has a formal sitting room, the couple also has a family room that's more laid back with mahogany hardwood floors, an abstract rug, and a fireplace. Elsewhere, of course, Beyonce also has a stunning walk-in wardrobe to keep all of her designer looks. She's even shared a look inside her wardrobe while getting ready for red carpet events. It's decked out with wooden floors, cream walls, as well as a huge floor-to-ceiling mirror framed with warm light bulbs. The pristine dressing room also features a cream velvet sofa at the other side, as well as floor-to-ceiling windows. 
Since moving in, the couple has also filled their home with art that reflects their style and personality. Now that we've checked out the homes of Jay-Z and Beyonce, including the new $200 million home they bought in Malibu, that's gonna wrap up this house tour. Before we go, answer this for me. Would you ever wanna live in a super minimalistic concrete home like these ones? Why or why not? You let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer, and if you would like to check out another tour before you go, then stay tuned because next we'll dive into the homes of Jennifer Lopez. Bye. Sure, JLo and Ben Affleck might be in the midst of trying to shrug off a meme inducing appearance at this year's Grammys, where Ben was caught on camera looking miserable before getting into a tense conversation with his lovely wife, but that doesn't mean that Hollywood's it couple is in any way bothered by what happened. Not only are they both aware of the memes circulating online, so much so that Jen even reposted one of them to Instagram, but they've also finally closed on a brand new house after almost two years of searching for the perfect place. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. JLo and Ben began their epic search for a home to share in the summer of 2021, and over the course of the next year and a half, the newly engaged couple hit the road looking at a series of insanely expensive boats. Ben first started their search by checking out the residence owned by the ex-wife of famed restaurant owner Mr. Chow. This this massive 30,000 square foot property located in the super exclusive district of Holmby Hills came with a reported price tag of $65 million and boasted nine bedrooms, 14 bathrooms, and a whole bunch of one of a kind details, including 400 year old Moorish columns, as well as an art gallery's worth of paintings. Only something about the place just didn't seem to work for the pair, so they kept looking. Next, they discovered another home, also located in Holmby Hills. As a slightly smaller piece of property worth a wee bit more than the last one at an estimated $75 million, but this one wasn't right for them either. Shortly after, it seemed like Ben and JLo's hunt had come to an end when it was announced that they had entered into escrow on a Bel Air estate with 20,000 square feet of space, 10 bedrooms, and 17 bathrooms worth $55 million. But before that deal closed, the couple decided that this house wasn't their cup of tea either, and they walked away from the table. They then briefly flirted with the idea of buying the $165 million home of TV mogul Aaron Spelling. With its lavish 56,000 square feet of space, 14 bedrooms, 27 full bathrooms, and 100 garage spaces, this monstrosity was truly beyond opulent, which might make you think it'd be the perfect home for Jennifer Lopez. But alas, it doesn't seem like the couple were ever that serious about this place. And in August of 2022, Ben and JLo tapped out. Out. After almost two years of searching and coming up empty, they concluded that the perfect house was already sitting in their combined real estate profiles. Jen originally bought the house she and Ben decided to call their own from actress Sella Ward in 2016, dropping $28 million on this gorgeous Bel Air home. With the help of her good friend, architect Samuel Marks, Lopez then reimagined this 13,000 square foot residence, resulting in a French country estate that you can find nestled in extensive of grounds that blend stone and wood, along with a bunch of other natural elements. Situated on eight acres of land and boasting seven bedrooms along with 13 bathrooms, this home has all the bells and whistles a celebrity abode demands, including a two-story living room complete with a curved staircase and wrought iron railings, in addition to high ceilings, a bar, a fireplace, steel windows, and doors that open to a stone terrace with tranquil greenery. Not far from there is a formal dining room with a stunning art deco chandelier located next to a chef's kitchen with wood beam ceilings and a rustic breakfast nook that features this charming stone fireplace. There's also a lower level that features a 30 seat screening room that showcases movie posters from several films in which both JLo and her Academy Award winning husband have 
start in. As if all that wasn't enough, upstairs the master suite includes multiple dressing rooms, an elegant walk-in closet, library, and a luxurious spa-like bathroom designed with a centerpiece tub that gazes out towards a private terrace that offers views of the home's lush grounds. And speaking of outside, the estate's outdoor spaces are filled with trees, bushes, plants, a guest cottage, hiking trails, a fire pit, a vegetable garden, and a private lake with sandy beach and an outdoor shower. Oh, and there's also a putting green as well as a 100-seat amphitheater for impromptu concerts. Seriously, what doesn't this place have? Well, besides Jen and Ben calling it home, that is, because guess what? They changed their minds again, having convinced themselves that this would be the perfect place to live and drafting up some ideas for further renovations, JLo and Ben abandoned those plans after discovering the house they've been searching for all along. If the recent reporting coming out of TMZ is to be believed, then Jennifer and Ben's longtime house hunting extravaganza is finally over. The media outlet is reporting that the happy couple entered escrow around Valentine's Day 2023 for a giant mansion in the Los Angeles neighborhood of the Pacific Palisades. The new property built just last year is set on a full sycamore tree surrounded acre of land and has been described as having a Hamptons-esque design that includes a motor court entered through an eye-pleasing arched brick port cochere. Boasting seven bedrooms and 13 bathrooms inside this home, you'll find a grand central foyer located right beside a spacious formal living room with a classic wood-burning fireplace. A short walk from there is the sun-drenched dining room that also includes a fireplace of its own, as well as a very chic-looking bar. Elsewhere, the formal office comes with an ensuite powder room, as well as sliding doors that lead outdoors to the expansive covered patio deck. As for the gourmet kitchen, it features a double island, state-of-the-art appliances, marble finishes, and a perfectly cute area to enjoy your morning breakfast. Continuing on with the indoor-outdoor lifestyle is the nearby family room that provides direct access to the exterior entertainment spaces, while boasting high vaulted ceilings with exposed wood beams, custom wall-to-wall -wall built-ins, and a full-service bar. Heading back to that main foyer, a stunning central staircase takes you upstairs to a bright and airy sitting room that centered around four guest suites, all of which include their own ensuite baths. Then, there's the ritzy primary suite with a sitting room all its own, a private balcony, dual bathrooms, and multiple closets. Additional amenities here are said to include a private screening room, a temperature-controlled wine cellar, gym, and even a full-service health spa. Last but not least, the sprawling exterior grounds features breathtaking landscaping, a pool, jacuzzi, outdoor kitchen, and a detached guest house perfect for visiting friends or housing staff. Now I know what you're thinking. Wait a second, haven't we already been here before? I mean, it wasn't that long ago that Ben and JLo walked away from another deal that they were reportedly an escrow for. But considering that Ben and Jen have already been spotted bringing their kids with them to show this place off, I think it's a pretty safe bet that they finally found their dream home. Plus, just a few months ago, Ben listed and sold his former Pacific Palisades home in October for $28.5 million. Even more surprisingly, Jen just listed the Beller home these two once planned on moving into and is asking for almost double what she originally paid for it, a cool $42.5 million. So, in a sense, with their new home reportedly setting them back an estimated $34 million, Ben and Jen are actually going to make money on this move. And not an inconsiderable sum either. Well, there you have it, Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez's new marital home. It took a long time to get here, and there's always the chance that they change their minds yet again, but... Here's hoping that after the lengthy journey that these two have been on, both in terms of their relationship and their home search, that they can finally rest up. At least until the next meme of them comes around, which with these two is never far away. Thanks for watching today's newest house tour, and before you head out, consider answering the following question for me. How long would you be willing to search for the perfect house to start a family in? Would you have the patience like these two have had and be able to wait years? Let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure that you never miss a new drop. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat further, and I'll see you all in another one. Bye!